back to my channel in this video i'll be showing you how to partition your hard drive or your ssd the right and easy way let's get down to it okay on your desktop right click on this pc if you're using windows 8 8.1 windows 10 and windows 11 but if you're using windows 7 you should check out for my pc then for windows 8 upwards right click on this pc click on manage then click on disk management now the reason why we partition drives be it a, an hdb or an ssd is just think of it as a room uh, where you want to have a part of it uh, separated for something let's say um, you want to use half of the room for storing something you can split it the way you split it you split that room for more accommodation it's called partitioning so on a hard drive let's say you want to split your local big C into two or three to maybe store your files on one partition and then your windows on the other partition so that if something happens to your local disk C, the one containing your windows, you'll still be able to have uh, your files intact. Or let's say you want to format, you won't have to start afresh trying to back up your files. Your files are already there. You just format the local disk C and you have your files in, in the other drive safe. Now, if you look at my own, you see I'm just using just a single partition. I didn't partition it because I have um, little space left there. But I'll be showing you how to do that with my external hard drive. So, now let's assume you want to partition your local Dixie to split it into two or more. Or parts into two or more partitions just right click on it click on shrink volume Now this is where you have to do a little bit of calculation. Now let's get our calculator. Okay. Um total size before shrink, that is the total size of the hard drive, size of available shrink space in MB, the size you can be able to partition out of the main part of the hard drive it only allows me to take 8 gig out of the free 30 gig i have here yeah i have 30.2 but windows is only giving me a chance of using 8 point something gig and you know that 1 gig is um, 1024 now let's assume I want to create only 4 gig. I'll just do 1024 times 4. That's 4096. 4, now, let me use my external hard drive to show you what I mean. Okay, I click on shrink volume, it pops up. Size of available shrink space. 
there is nothing there so enter the amount of space to shrink in mb now the dix management records in mb unlike some third party software that does in gigabytes so for dix management you have to calculate to know exactly what you want now let's say i want to split into two since it is 302,121 302,121 and I want to divide uh, partition into two equal parts or almost equal parts I'll just divide by two and I have it or let's say I want to divide by four I'll just take this I'll paste it and then divide by 4 now let's say I want to just partition out uh, 100 gig and then use the 100 gig for my Windows installation and the remaining 200 uh, 100 and something left for storing my files I'll just do 1024 times 100 Or let's say 1024 if I'm doing 80 gig times 80 gives me this okay let's do 80 gig I'll copy this then paste okay I 81 920 81 920 and then I'll hit shrink remember this can be done on your local DXC I don't have enough space that's why I'm not doing it there but it's the same for every hard drive be it a hard disk drive or a solid state drive SSD now it has been created you just click on you right click click on new simple volume next 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 and we are done now when i open my file explorer i'll see my 200 and something and then my 79.9 which is my 80 gig if you want to shrink further or let's say i want to still shrink this guy i'll still right click shrink volume and then Put in what I want and then shrink but if in any case you don't like let's say you made a mistake or the size looks a little bit smaller than you wanted or you have no need of the partition again just right click on it on it click on delete volume click on yes and allocate it now right click on the other part click on extend this time around then it merges everything together you no longer have a partition drive everything becomes one if you want to shrink the same method just shrink like we did earlier and then you're done now i want to show you an easier method of doing it on using a third party software i prefer using a a a o n e i partition assistant edition i use the pro version though although this is uh, an outdated version it's a bit old but at least it still does the work now you know on wind on disk management you uh windows tells you what you can do there unlike here where you have the where you have the liberty to do anything you want anyhow you want it now let's say i want to create a partition here i'll just click on create a partition now like i said earlier other software allow you to measure in gigabytes 
while uh, dx management measures in MD. So for here, you don't have any need of a calculator. You just say, okay, since I have 30 gig free, I can say I need extra M gig as my partition, or I need a 20. And then you create what you want. Okay, using my external hard drive, I'll create a partition. This has already split it into two almost equal parts on its own. Now, assuming I don't like the equal parts, a partition method, I'll just select what I want. Let's say a hundred gig. Hundred gig. I hit OK. Then you hit apply you must hit apply for it to apply then apply set partitions before execution this is for to confirm if the health of your hard drive is still intact then you click on proceed yes just wait for it to finish We are done. We now have um, 198 on one partition, 100 on the other. Now, if I want to create more, partition, more partitions, I'll just do the same thing. If I want to delete the partition, I'll just delete. Now, just like in um, Dix management where you extend a deleted partition to merge with the uh, main partition here you use merge when you merge you just select the two drives or the drives you want to merge together and then you merge then there's also resize where you can split you can still select it's still like creating a partition you this already existing drive you can create more space from it 100 gig 100 or something or the whole 128 198 sorry then allocate free space still like partitioning you can create as much as you want then format if there are files already in it you can format it then this is used if there are some stubborn files stuck in the hard drive or you don't want the files in the hard drive to be retrieved you can use this wipe partition to wipe everything in it so that when someone tries a data recovery on it, the person will be able to get it back. There are still many more options. Change drive letter. I can change this from F to, let's say, I or let's say Q. I hit OK. Then apply. Remember to always do apply. Then my drive changes from F to Q then you can still hide your partition so that it becomes not discoverable you can convert to logical if you are trying to install windows on it externally serial number partition alignment there's just so much you can do with this from here you can see your used space your free space there's so much there's just so much so um copy partition you get to copy it either copy only the used space and then paste on another drive you can i think you can use this for your windows i have not given it a trial before then sector by sector 
you copy everything gently onto another drive let's say your current pc is using a 320 gigabyte and you bought uh, a one terabyte or two terabytes and you want everything there you can use this sector by sector it will take more time but it will definitely get everything on that hard drive to the new hard drive it's just like cloning you clone a drive the contents of that drive and then paste it into an entirely different drive I think that's just it for now. See you in another video. Goodbye.